Omar, by the way, is responsible for the conquest of Islam. So you can tell a little bit about his personality. This is a guy who, before motorized transport, before air travel, before mail, before paper, before like fucking email or anything like that, this is a guy who, within just a matter of decades, was able to spread Islam you know, from uh, that sort of Eastern Europe or even parts of Western Europe all yeah. the way to the Indian subcontinent, right. like during his lifetime. So yeah, this so, is... So just to be clear, if the stories are true, which is highly doubtful, the reason why Islam became an empire had not, had, wasn't because of Muhammad. When Muhammad died, the domain of Islam was very small. It wasn't even all, yeah. of, Ara even all of Arabia. Yeah. But it was Omar, the second Khalifa, that spread Islam far and wide. And he he yeah. was like I don't know like I don't like he seemed like a military genius. He was very aggressive, very aggressive. Yeah, he, was, he was the most uh, extremely ambitious, right? Yeah. He was extremely ambitious. Uh, he did not have. Uh, you can't do that. Like you're not going to spread Islam at that time uh, if it's supposed to be such a comprehensive philosophy that you have to understand. Right. You're not going to spread it by sitting around and holding seminars in the desert and passing out pamphlets. Yeah. So. Uh, he could not have been happy with this whole uh, succession thing and the fact that Ali was not uh, pledging allegiance. He, so he's also one of the most hated figures in Iran when it comes to Islamic ideology, both by religious Iranians and non-religious Iranians. Yeah, the, the Shias hate him. The Shias, Shias hate him, him for killing Fatima and also being against Ali, you know, taking the rights yeah. from Ali. But the non-religious Iran, the anti-Islamic Iranians hate him because he's a he's the guy that invaded Iran. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.